more VRAM would be beneficial before too long. And here we are. And had that card had 16 gigabytes of VRAM, it would be able to play the game. An explosion of VRAM usage that we have to take into consideration. Mm -hmm. So it's like with everything, a trade-off. And even for, for me, trying to stay below the 8 gigabyte target, we have to do so much work to make it happen. That it needs 14 gigabytes of VRAM at these settings. And you start up here and this is consistent behavior it just crashes. Frustrating situation where the graphics card is powerful enough to run this game completely maxed out at 80 FPS average here. And texture resolution doesn't usually have much impact on performance at all until you run out. This is the unfortunate situation where we're seeing it has ran out. You know what it is, it's been a hot button news topic lately, VRAM amounts in graphics cards. It just feels really bad when you see the launch of a card, say 3000 series from Nvidia, and it has the same VRAM as the past two generations. And it just makes you think the card's gonna be faster, it's gonna need more VRAM in the future. We all are thinking it, but not everybody is saying it when that launches. That is going to be the limiting factor in the long run. A lot of people are talking about the RTX 3070 and 3060 Ti right now, only having eight gigabytes of VRAM and they're struggling in games like Hogwarts Legacy, RE4 Remake, and Last of Us Part One. I actually personally went with a RTX 3080. That card too, it's very powerful. It only has 10 gigabytes of VRAM. It is only two gigabytes more than the RTX 3070. Yes, it is faster VRAM for 30% more performance on the 3080. So it's clear that it could be an issue. If it's running into issues on the 3070, it might run into issues on the 3080. So let's hop into RE4 Remake and see how the 3080 plays out. And broke. I wanted to test this, but I'm only going to use the chainsaw demo. It has the same graphics as the actual game. So in this game, why is the freaking cursor so big? This thing is huge, guys. Now. Everything is very impressive. Let's go ahead uh, and just pull up our all time favorite program. I remember that is MSI Afterburn. So you can see up here in the top left that it is at eight and a half uh, gigabytes of VRAM. That is, a, that is this funny number here underneath the GPU one. Let's look at what we are at on graphics because 1440p, we're at native, we have ray tracing on and it's on high. We're at high at six gigabytes. So we're up to nine gigabytes of VRAM. You see, nine gigabytes is not far off of the max on the 38. Let's go ahead and up the textures to uh, eight gigabytes. Let's see that. It says it could exceed it, but it, like if you have an eight gigabyte graphics card, you wouldn't even be able to play this. It's over eight. It would crash. Now I'm not experiencing a crash. Obviously the 38 is very capable of this, but you see the VRAM in the top left was a nine, nine and a half gigabytes just in a game that came out two years after the 3080 launch or just a little over two years. Kind of scary how fast uh, this is progressing to be a bad thing. This is this is the part of GP reviews that people don't tell you is like if you can't afford to buy all these $60 games and uh, footage from game benchmarks. So go ahead and check him out if you're interested in this review. Let's hop into the 1440p ultra settings. 9.35 gigabytes of VRAM here, as you can see, the ultra settings at 1440p. Again, though, 10 gigabytes of VRAM on the 3080, two years after release, another game just really pushing the limits more than we're probably comfortable with having a top end card. So let's check out the settings that we're on. Basically on Epic settings on DirectX 12, uh, native resolution, and uh, I think we have the high resolution textures on as well. Uh, no ray tracing, no Nanite. Oh, Nanite is on, but let's turn off Nanite. This used to be like green over here. Here's Fortnite being stuttery as it always is. I don't really want to be bothered. Guys, can I get a kill? I have not played Fortnite in a minute. Well, I did play it against Steve from Hardware Unboxed. And I got destroyed. Oh, go check out that video. I was going to say, like, grass drives Fortnite still looks really good. We're at VRAM of just six gigabytes. So very runnable, even on a 3070. You can see here, we got Nanite and the Lumen on and no harder, harder ray tracing. It looks like we're up to like 8.3, 8.4 gigabytes of VRAM up in the top left there, as you can see, as you can see. And 
Yeah, uh, we're definitely getting close to this. If you were on an RTX 37, you wouldn't be able to do this. So let's just try out what the hardware ray tracing looks like. You can easily see turning on hardware ray tracing that we went from 8.3, 8.4. It looks like it stabilized to just a little bit higher VRAM usage up there. So I got people are gonna say like, oh, you can just resolution scale and it won't be a problem. Well, at least in Fortnite, doesn't seem like it really helps that much. Again, this is at 1440p. We just resolution scaled it to quality. Uh, from quality which i think is 1080p resolution scale yeah um yeah you saved what 200 megabytes of ram is nothing not at least in fortnite okay we're in another really recent release and this is atomic heart this game doesn't have ray tracing even though it's touted to have ray tracing at launch but six gigabytes of vram um you could run this on 3070 no problem vram is definitely an issue nowadays and the irony persists with NVIDIA, one of the main selling points of their cards, at least with gaming, is the better ray tracing performance because they are up in a whole generation on AMD with their RT accelerators. Ray tracing uses more VRAM and they consistently do not put enough VRAM in their graphics cards. And I see so many people right now talking about how things are unoptimized. And I go, well, I don't know, three years ago, we said it in three years, this will probably happen. It's happening. So it's been three years, yeah. three years, time flies. Every game coming out now has issues with RAM management, right? I don't yeah. think this issue is going away. No, it's just going to get worse. And that mm -hmm. goes for ray tracing, the acceleration, the data you have to save there. Every new feature right now seems to just demand more. So I made a video all about this previously, and that was how NVIDIA makes you upgrade your card. And this is basically before games like Hogwarts Legacy and RE4 Remake and Last of Us. And this is to make it in a few years that your games just aren't going to run correctly, and you're going to be tempted to upgrade your card anyways, because a lot of people don't even know technically how much VRAM they need for their games or ever really know what makes up the components of their graphics card in general. Happened to me with a two gigabyte 916 2015. I had good reviews competing AMD cards at the time, two gigabytes also, and it didn't think about it that much. Like this guy here, he's just an average consumer that didn't really think about the VRAM be a problem. But I wanna clear up some misconceptions that some people may or may not have with VRAM. This person here puts it pretty nicely. If you're playing at a higher resolution, then you need more VRAM. But if you're only playing at 1080p, a gigabyte is honestly probably enough in a lot of cases. And that is even today with these modern games. But VRAM only really scales with the performance of your graphics card. So say you had a GTX 1070 back in 2016. And eight gigabytes of VRAM back then on that card was just way more than enough. And even today, throw up some benchmarks here, the 1070 still runs really great at eight gigabytes of VRAM, no problems whatsoever. But that all depends on the performance of your card. In the case of like the GTX 1070 back in 2016, that was more than enough VRAM. And that's what we wanna see in our graphics cards. But I'm going to say something that is just possibly a little controversial. And I just feel like I'm, I've just been very controversial lately and there's been a lot of comments pointing this out to me. But this VRAM problem is way more niche of a problem than a lot of us are probably thinking. There's a lot of fear. Oh my God, I don't know if we're gonna survive with this much. If we're being honest with ourselves, the only people who are affected by this, you have to be playing the latest AAA games. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, AAA games are expensive. I was gonna say, this niche is people that spend a lot of money on their graphics card. And this isn't to discredit that this is like an okay thing that they can just put like barely enough VRAM in their cars and get away with it. It isn't okay. What I'm saying is, is that for the average person, it probably affects you way less than you might think. Um, I'm gonna flash up the Steam charts again and look at all these games in here and try to tell me that any of them, like if you have a 3070, that this is gonna use eight gigabytes of VRAM. And it just, it just isn't. Our focus on being accessible to as many platforms as possible to reach as broad audience as possible. It does suck though, that this niche of people have to deal with this problem. Even me personally with the 3080, I've never run into problems with it. I, with the VRAM, even in these games, I'm still not running into issues and I'm probably not gonna play the latest AAA games ever. Real quick too, in regards of productivity, at least in DaVinci Resolve, which is the most VRAM heavy program that I use, 
I saw at least working on this project a max of about four gigabytes, 4.3 gigabytes of VRAM, but I've seen it max out at six and a half gigabytes. So at least for me personally, 10 gigabytes is still plenty of headroom, but I'm working with very compressed footage and you may or may not be working with something similar to that. Even though Nvidia isn't putting an excess like future proofing amount of VRAM in their graphics cards, it doesn't really seem to matter because the average person is almost never pushing that much VRAM. AMD's approach to their marketing is that one of their main selling points is that their graphics cards have more VRAM integrated into them just off the jump. And this can sway people, especially if you're using very VRAM heavy workloads. You can see some people in the comments of this video, my 6950 XT used over 14 gigabytes of VRAM in the RE Remake demo. And granted, they used playing at 4K with textures running at six gigabytes, but 3080 wouldn't be capable in that case. And does AMD's approach to marketing with their VRAM really that big of an advantage to a lot of people. And I'm, I'm sorry to say it, but it doesn't really seem like it is. it is. A lot of people aren't completely educated that VRAM matters, especially because there's a delayed response to VRAM mattering. Like it might not be until four years down the line that all of a sudden that your card can't play modern games. Saying, we don't need to pay attention to the Harry Potter. We don't need to pay attention to Forspoken. We don't need to, how many games do we need as an example before we have to pay attention? So as much as a lot of people are scared about the whole graphics card memory situation right now, that it might not be enough for the future. And it doesn't even seem like with 4,000 series from Nvidia that they're really trying to put any more in their cards. I don't really think it's as big of a deal as a lot of us are probably making it out to be. I want to do a weekly live stream on YouTube, just kind of chatting with you guys. Okay. And we're just talking about like, you can, you can ask like Q and A and stuff like what the heck is going on with me. I don't know how long the stream would be and maybe play some games on stream. We could also maybe cover like technology news or anything that's interesting going on. Um, if you guys are interested in it, I'm thinking about doing them on Friday nights at this moment. So, uh, I will schedule streams and just let you know, but anyways, beside that, uh, what do you guys think about this whole VRAM situation? And if you have an eight gigabyte card that is actually fast enough to use the eight gigabytes, are you running into issues right now? Let me know. And I'll see you guys in the next video, possibly today in a live stream. It's Friday. I'm recording this at like 1.34 AM. Peace.